Nation, I'm Celeste Kalmbach, and I'm Jenna Linda, and welcome to VHS Now. Our Queen of the Jungle, Amina Paul, is here with the Jungle Spotlight on our Bengal Varsity Cheerleading Squad. What's your definition of a cheerleader? Um, I think a cheerleader is someone who brings leadership and spirit to the school. Someone who shows spirit and kindness throughout everything that they do and loves to perform and smile and just have fun. What's your favorite thing about cheering? Being able to help others. I think I've been doing cheer for a while, so I have pretty good of an experience with cheering. Just it it makes me really happy when people like ask for my help and I help them and they actually get, you know, like they'll hit a stun and like it just makes me really happy and so I like to see people succeed. What's something you're looking forward to this season? In April we are going to our first cheer competition, like it's an actual cheer competition, like outside of UIL, so it's pretty exciting. It's something new for the team and so we're just very I'm very excited about that. Just performing and all these pep rallies, since we have our new coach, she has so many cool ideas. And since Kati and I we're twins and we're captains, we put our minds together and we make a pep rally team. On Draylon in the Hall, students talk about their favorite Halloween celebrations. What are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be a Boba Fett. I'm not going to be this. A Descendants character. Right. <laughs> I'm going to be a witch. A clown. A what? A clown. <laughs> now let's head over to the teacher's lounge with Jordan and Arian where teachers talk about their Halloween traditions. one is we give out full-size candy bars. Uh, so our Halloween traditions, we don't do the usual trick-or-treating, going house to house to get candy, mostly just get my kids costumes, they dress up and we just play at, ho at home. Car pumpkins, hand out candy, and usually dress up. And usually it's the one day a year where I actually have hair. H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. Halloween, uh, H-A- L-L-O-W-E-E-N. I'm gonna go Hall Oween. H-A-L-L-O-W-E-E-N. Candy corn. I don't like gum. Mm, I pretty much like all candy. Congratulations to our Brazil Bengal varsity football team for making playoffs. 2020. Step team is powerful. It's, I don't know, it's very unique. I love it. It's fun. We have a great friendship team, you know, sportsmanship is there. We very hype. I've been wanting to be on step team since my freshman year. I always like the step team because it always seems fun and it's something I just want to do. We came together as a family and it's a lot of happiness and spirit. Just go out there and you can just be yourself. To join the step team, you have to try out. Um, we give you an audition step, and if you can perfect it and state why you think you would contribute to the step team, then you could join. One, you have to have rhythm. Um, and in order to be on the step team, you gotta go through our, our auditions. Learn a step, and sometimes we might come up with an intro, but mostly know the step 
and have attitude and really show yourself. Before I was on the step team, I was more to myself and I didn't really know, know anything about anybody else, but being on the step team that opened up and a very understanding person. Being a junior officer it has made me have to take a big role in leadership. So I have to set an example at school as well as the step team, they all look up to me. So it's changed me a lot. Our Braswell Robotics team competed last Saturday at the UNT Coliseum. Here's Melody Henry with the story. This past weekend, our very own Brazil Robotics team competed in the best robotics competition. Uh, it was the best robotics competition at UNT Coliseum. Uh, it was a challenge to where it was titled Blackout. It was simulating like a power grid, um, kind of like power grid was knocked out by a hurricane. Okay, so we have an engineering team, a design team, and a marketing team. And our engineering team, they basically, they built the robot and they create all the sketches and uh, code the robot. The design team will make t-shirts for our team. They will work on the website and stuff like that. And then our marketing team will present a presentation, like a research project, to um, the judges. The team captains have confident feelings about where the future of Brazil Robotics is headed. We still take members. If y'all want to join, that's one thing y'all need to know. Uh, we're pretty, it's pretty new. We established this like last year. So it's our second, it's our second year. At, uh, it was our second year at the best robotics competition. We've gotten better in um, our teamwork and how we manage things. And I think it's a really positive environment for everyone there. And not everyone's going to be in STEM related things. Like there's going to be people who are good at presenting and there's going to be people who are good at getting the team together. Brazil Robotics continues to positively represent BHS at their competitions. I'm Melody Henry reporting for BHS Now. That's all for today. Follow us on Twitter at VHS Now to keep in touch, and we'll see you next week. In the meantime, stay classy, Bagel Nation, and remember, history takes place here at Braswell every day, and, and we're, we're here to cover it. it.